I'm so glad I joined this game jam. I got so many ratings on my game. I'm in the 7th place with the most rated, with 101 ratings from other developers. Nothing could possibly turn out wrong at this point, right? So, how is it like to participate in a game jam? Well, I'll tell you. It all started when... Hey dude! Wanna join Why We Point for All Game Jam with me? Huh? Make a game together and win that competition? What's a game jam? I have no idea. Do you live under a rock or something? It's when you make a game as fast as you can on a certain theme. This actually sounds pretty cool. So, okay, let's do it. Okay, great. We have three days to make a game. Bye! Three days? Wait, what? So, Huawei's Game Jam's team is to collaborate with AI. And the first thing I'll have to come up with is an idea. The idea I had in mind for this game was control a robot with commands and make the player collaborate with it in that way. So the first thing I did was to open Blender of course and model this cute robot which turned out a bit scuffed but it still looks kind of good. I added textures to it and imported that to Unity. But for some reason the texture itself was red and didn't apply to the robot. Oh well, I'll fix that later. Then, I started making a frame for the robot to walk on for some reason. And I'll probably need to check up on Steve, I told him to make the backgrounds, so... Hey man, did you finish to make those backgrounds? Hey dude, I actually don't know anything about game development. I only wanted you to make a game, so good luck with that. I also made this background terrain for the game and bought some assets I found in the Unity Asset Store. I would have made them by myself, but come on. Look at these health price trees, how could I turn that down? And also, it's a game jam, and I have only 3 days. The clock is ticking. Literally. I've gotta work fast. I used Rigify to make the skeleton for the robot to make animations on. If I had to do that in the regular way, like I did in the Undertale game I made, it probably would have taken twice the time. And after that, I made the walking animation, and the robot could walk on this green plane. Actually. I have no idea where I'm going with this. Wait. What if the robot is controlled with cards? I was always intrigued by how known card games bring their own twist to the genre. Like how Inscription added horror to card games, or how Slay the Spire actually stitched together roguelikes with cards. Then I thought, what if the commands were actually cards? And the cards control the robot movement, and if it's jumping, or running, or crawling, that sounds fun. Oh, and you know what would be also really cool? To make a self-destruct as a mechanic in the game, which makes the robot blow up stuff to pass obstacles. I'll need to make another model for the robot, but that shouldn't be so hard. All I need to do is to bash its head like this. <laughs> Just kidding. I only need to sculpt it a bit and remove some parts. And here is the finished product, played by Cax Nova. Oh, okay, so I can destroy the, <laughs> this little leg. No! <laughs> He's doing the best that he can. Very cool stream. Thank you for playing. And then I made the camera controls using a tutorial which Jonas himself, the guy who made this game jam, recommended and left a comment. This tutorial was made by Dev Game Guide. Thank you. Very cool. But I had to tweak and change it a lot because that tutorial was made for a strategy game with on top view camera and my game is a 2.5D. Let me check how much time is left. Oh my god, that's not a lot of time. Okay, fast. It's time for some mechanics. So the first mechanic I made after making the robot was jumping. I made a spike for the robot to jump over with Pro Builder. And this structure that if the robot gets to, the level is completed. If for some reason you fail to jump over the spike, this will happen. Okay, jump. Jump now. I say jump. Yeah, it works. Hey dude, remember that wedding we're supposed to go to? But I'm in the middle of a game jam. I can't just go to a wedding. I'll lose a lot of time. Oh damn, it's 2am now, I have less than a day to finish the game. And also, I had a dream that you subscribe to my channel, I've gotta get back to work. 
So where was I? Oh yes, the mechanics. I already made the jump mechanic, so I'll have to implement this mechanic still. Running, crawling, charging and self-destruct. But that's too much mechanics, it's not enough time to make them all. I'll need to improvise and make something else. Maybe a mechanic to turn around? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And I need charge. to think about the puzzles themselves. I don't know what that... What if the self-destruct made a robot drop its hand on the button or something like that? And that will open the door. That could be cool. So I made a button and animated it getting pressed and added a collider on it so when anything is on it, it triggers and opens the door to the end of the level. Okay, now it's time to make some sounds and music. So I opened my guitar case, which I didn't open for years now, and started playing. Finally, I found a cool tune, wrote the notes and imported that to Cubase. And for sounds, I did this. And let's add some reverb and gain, and here we got some sounds. Okay, so now for the levels themselves. I still have that turnaround mechanic I made, but I am not sure how to use it. How can I make the player use the turnaround card? Hmm. I can make some bins fall off the ceiling, and you'll have to place those turnaround cards after the robot passes some tiles. Hmm, that seems interesting. So nice, I have enough levels and interesting concepts. It seems like it's finished. Wow, what a journey that was. Hey dude, I checked your game on each.io and you have a bug with the screen ratio. Oh, and also you have a bug with the robot's battery draining. Oh, and also you have a bug with the zoom getting inverted. Oh, and you have a bug with the... So it seems that at this point my game was a total mess, but since then I have updated and fixed all those bugs. It's totally free to download and the link is down below in the description. I'll probably make more updates to the game, so subscribe to this channel to be notified. But wait, this is not over yet.